It could be a flooded road, a lost dog, a package stolen from a porch, the kind of news you'll want to know and share if it's happening in your neighborhood. They're familiar posts if you've seen it on Neighbors app by Ring. The city of Fulton just came on board. To fill us in, we want to welcome aboard Fulton Mayor Dina Michaels and Fulton Police Chief Craig Westbrook. Thanks for joining us tonight. Thanks for having us. We appreciate it. Well, Mayor Michaels, what kind of information and what departments are going to be sharing information on the app that you hope is going to benefit Fulton neighborhoods? Yeah, so our police and our fire departments are going to be sharing the information and it's going to be safety, education and crime updates just to keep the community informed and educated as we move forward. It's a great tool for both departments to share the critical information they have. Uh, Chief, kind of sounds to me like um what used to be uh, the neighborhood watch, except we've kind of updated it into this century um, with a digital twist. Uh, does that make it more effective, more immediate? Um, maybe people are more accustomed to using those kinds of things in this world now? Yeah, in the current times where everybody uses a you know digital device to communicate, it's definitely like neighborhood watch, uh, probably more efficient in that you make one post and it, it'll notify anybody that's in the ring neighborhood, anybody around you, anybody in the city or in your designated area. And what kinds of things are you looking for, Chief? So far, a lot of the stuff that we've seen has been um, suspicious activity, you know, maybe somebody looking into a vehicle at night, or we've had a couple of bicycles that, you know, people have uh, captured video of someone stealing a bicycle out of their front yard. Um, <clears throat> they also report that to us, but they put it on, uh, you know, through the neighborhood app, and it, uh, it alerts people in their area, just be on the lookout, be aware these things are going on. And then uh, you know, and at times we've communicated with them to, you know, give them suggestions or have them follow up with officers to provide more information. Mayor, would you say this is kind of more of a proactive approach or is this kind of in a response to anything going on in Fulton or maybe a little bit of both? Yeah, it's certainly proactive. We want to keep the community informed and educated and get them as many tools as we have available to us to uh, keep our communities and our neighbors uh, safe. So really, this is about a neighborhood safety initiative. We have so many positive things that are happening right now that we understand that a, you know, any extra help that we can get to keep the community informed is you know, our, responsi our responsibility and our duty to do, and that's what, why we signed up. We have a question for you, Chief. We know it's free, and you don't have to own a Ring device to join, but some may be concerned about privacy privacy concerns for those who do have ring videos. Are you allowed to access people's videos or personal information? No, we don't have access to, uh, if you own a ring device, we can't just you know, tap into your device to see what's going on in your front yard. Uh, all the posts come up as anonymous, just a, a neighbor with a number next to it. Uh, there is, you know, we can communicate with that person and give them instruction as far as uh, if we need to speak to them directly or if they would like to talk to us uh, and provide more information. Uh, instruct them how they can reach us mm -hmm. but um, there's no you know the police department isn't going to be watching over you know personal property and yards and tapping into private security systems. Mayor so if you don't have a ring device you can still be part of this right you, you download the app what do you what do you do if you don't have one of those ring cameras on your house? Simply download the free neighbors app that's available and you answer a few quick questions just your name and your location and then you are in the Fulton uh, neighbors app location and you'll start getting alerts we sent one out today some out yesterday so you'll start getting alerts immediately and we encourage people to sign up for the free app because it's a great tool and the more that are on it the more uh, informed and stronger community we are well here's the news person in me what was the <laughs> alert you sent out today <laughs> chief sent out one today they sent one out uh, just a, a message regarding pedestrians just reminding people that schools, you know, now letting out at different times are going to be uh, ending for the year shortly. And, you know, obviously sometimes kids don't make the best choices or, you know, mistakenly enter the road when they shouldn't. We don't want to have any accidents. So just a reminder, be on the lookout. There's going to be a lot more kids uh, running around and crossing the streets, et cetera. Be on the lookout. Our viewers are familiar with that. Yep. And oftentimes people like to share tips. Uh, can they still rem remain anonymous through this app? Yes, they can. They can uh, post a tip or if they, you know, kind of post it to us or to the neighborhood community. And then, uh, you know, if, if we, if they would like to provide more information, we reach out to them and, and uh, request them to contact us and we can go from there. Obviously, they don't have to, but they can post an anonymous tip or anonymous video.
Well, together we'll put our viewers on the lookout and continued success to both of you. Mayor Michaels, Chief Westbrook, thank you for joining us tonight. Thank Thanks you. for having us.